Today, we're diving into how mastering self-discipline can set your relationship apart from 99% of others. Now, you might be thinking, self-discipline? Isn't that about waking up early and eating healthy? And yes, those things are important, but self-discipline in the context of relationships runs much deeper. It's about having the awareness to understand yourself, your partner, and the dynamics you create together. It's about making conscious choices, even when they're hard, that serve the highest good of your relationship. It's about showing up as the best version of yourself, consistently and authentically. If you're ready to transform your love life, stay tuned. We're about to embark on a journey that will empower you to build stronger bonds, navigate challenges with grace, and experience a love that's truly extraordinary. Rebuilding trust after it's been broken, whether from infidelity, dishonesty, or a breach of confidence, can often feel like an insurmountable mountain to climb. The pain is real, the hurt runs deep, and the foundation of your connection might feel shattered. But just as a phoenix rises from the ashes, so too can your relationship emerge stronger and more resilient than before. It requires immense courage, vulnerability, and commitment from both partners. But the journey of healing and rebuilding trust can lead to a deeper and more meaningful bond. Remember, healing takes time. There will be good days and bad days, moments of progress and setbacks along the way. Be patient with yourself, be patient with your partner, and allow the process to unfold naturally. In the next section, we'll explore the essential steps to begin the process of rebuilding trust and paving the way for a brighter future together. In the tapestry of human connection, vulnerability is the thread that weaves intimacy, authenticity, and deep, meaningful bonds. It's about allowing ourselves to be seen, truly seen by our partners, flaws, insecurities, and all. But vulnerability can often feel like a double-edged sword. While it holds the potential for profound connection, it also exposes us to the risk of being hurt, rejected, or misunderstood. We build walls around our hearts, fearing that letting someone in will only lead to pain. However, true intimacy thrives in an environment of openness and emotional honesty. When we allow ourselves to be vulnerable with our partners, we create a space for deep connection, empathy, and unconditional love to flourish. In the next section, we'll explore the transformative power of vulnerability and how embracing it can lead to a more fulfilling and authentic relationship. Have you ever felt a nagging feeling deep down that something isn't quite right in your relationship? It's that subtle, persistent feeling that you can't quite shake off, no matter how much you try to ignore it. Like you're compromising a part of yourself, dimming your light to fit in. You might find yourself constantly adjusting your behavior, your dreams, and even your values just to maintain the peace. This, my friends, is a sign you need to pause and reflect. Take a moment to really think about what you want and need in a relationship. Recognizing the signs of settling is not about pointing fingers or placing blame. It's about self-reflection and understanding your worth. It's about acknowledging that you deserve to be happy and fulfilled. We often talk about the importance of self-love, but how often do we ignore the red flags when they clash with our desire for companionship? It's easy to overlook these signs when we're afraid of being alone. Maybe you're constantly making excuses for your partner's behavior, telling yourself that things will get better with time. Or perhaps you find yourself justifying their lack of effort, convincing yourself that you're asking for too much. These are not signs of a healthy, fulfilling relationship, but rather whispers of discontent that your soul is trying to communicate. Your inner voice is telling you that something is off. Settling can be subtle creeping in slowly until you find yourself feeling unappreciated or unheard. It can start with small compromises that gradually build up over time. You deserve a love that celebrates your strengths, encourages your growth and respects your values. A relationship should be a source of joy and support, not a constant struggle. A love that feels like coming home to yourself. It should be a place where you feel safe, valued and cherished. Don't silence that inner voice that knows you deserve more. Listen to it and let it guide you towards a better, more fulfilling relationship. Remember, recognizing the signs of settling is a powerful step towards creating a relationship that truly serves you. It's about taking control of your happiness and well-being 
It's about aligning your life with your values and choosing a love that reflects your true worth. You deserve nothing less than a love that makes you feel alive and whole. We often think of communication as simply talking, but true communication, the kind that nourishes a relationship, runs far deeper. It's not just about exchanging words, it's about connecting on an emotional level, understanding each other's thoughts, feelings and desires. It's about truly listening, not just waiting for your turn to speak, but hearing the words, the emotions, the unspoken needs behind your partner's words. This kind of listening requires patience and empathy, allowing you to tune into the deeper layers of what your partner is trying to convey. Imagine a beautiful tapestry woven with threads of understanding, empathy and genuine curiosity. Each thread represents a moment of connection, a shared experience or a heartfelt conversation that brings you closer together. That's what effective communication creates in a relationship. It builds a strong foundation of trust and intimacy where both partners feel valued and respected. It's about being present in the conversation, putting down your phone, silencing the noise of your own thoughts and truly tuning into your partner's world. This presence shows that you care and that your partner is your priority in that moment. When you listen with intention, you create a safe space for vulnerability, allowing your partner to feel seen, heard and understood. This safe space is crucial for building emotional intimacy and trust. You begin to understand their perspective, even if you don't agree with it. And that understanding bridges the gap between two individuals, fostering a deeper connection. This mutual understanding helps in resolving conflicts and strengthens the bond you share. Remember, communication is not about winning an argument or proving a point, but about building bridges of understanding and strengthening the bond you share. It's about finding common ground and working together as a team. It's about creating a space where both partners feel safe to express themselves openly and honestly. This openness fosters a deeper connection and helps in navigating the ups and downs of the relationship together. Insecurity and jealousy are like uninvited guests that can cast a shadow over even the most loving relationships. These emotions often stem from within, rooted in past experiences, personal insecurities or a lack of self-love. Think of insecurity as a whisper in your ear, amplifying your doubts and fears. It tells you that you're not good enough, not worthy of love, or that your partner might leave you for someone else. These thoughts, while powerful, are often unfounded and stem from our own internal struggles rather than the reality of the relationship. Recognizing that these feelings often originate from within is the first step towards overcoming them. It's not about blaming yourself for feeling insecure, but about understanding the root of these emotions so you can begin to heal and grow. Remember, you are worthy of love and belonging just as you are. Your value doesn't depend on external validation, but on the love and acceptance you cultivate within yourself. Section two, cultivating trust and self-love. We often hear that relationships are about finding your other half. But I believe that we are already whole individuals. Think about it. Entering a relationship doesn't mean giving up the passions, hobbies and aspirations that make you, you. In fact, maintaining your individuality is so important to fostering a healthy sense of self within a relationship. When you nurture your own growth and pursue your passions, you bring a sense of vibrancy and fulfillment into the relationship. Conflict is a natural part of any relationship. It's important to remember that conflict isn't about winning or losing. It's an opportunity for growth and understanding. When disagreements arise, try to approach the situation with empathy and compassion. This means putting yourself in your partner's shoes and trying to see things from their perspective. Often conflict stems from unmet needs or unspoken expectations. By communicating openly and honestly, you can begin to understand the root of the issue and work towards a resolution. Remember, Communication is key, but it's not just about talking. It's also about active listening. We all experience and express love differently. Understanding your own love language as well as your partner's can be a game changer in your relationship. The five love languages are words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. 
Each language represents a different way of giving and receiving love. For example, if your partner's love language is acts of service, they feel most loved when you do things for them, like helping with chores or running errands. Recognizing and speaking your partner's love language can help you express your love in a way that they truly understand and appreciate, leading to a deeper and more fulfilling connection. We often hear that we must love ourselves before we can love someone else, and there's profound truth in that. Imagine trying to pour from an empty cup. There's nothing to give. Self-love is about recognizing your own worth, appreciating your strengths, and accepting your imperfections. It's about treating yourself with kindness, compassion and respect, just as you would a cherished friend. When you cultivate self-love, you fill your own cup with positive energy, self-acceptance and inner peace. This overflowing sense of wholeness allows you to approach relationships from a place of strength and authenticity, ready to share your true self without fear of depletion. Remember, loving yourself is not selfish. It's an act of self-preservation. It's the foundation upon which you can build healthy, fulfilling relationships with others. Sometimes we find ourselves trapped in unhealthy relationship patterns that leave us feeling drained, unappreciated or unworthy. These feelings can creep up slowly, often starting with small, seemingly insignificant incidents that gradually build up over time. These toxic patterns can manifest in various ways, from constant criticism and control to emotional manipulation and a lack of respect. It might be subtle at first, like a partner making demeaning comments disguised as jokes, or more overt, such as outright controlling behavior and emotional blackmail. Recognizing these red flags is the first step toward breaking free from these destructive cycles. Awareness is crucial because it empowers you to take action. Start by paying attention to how you feel after interactions with your partner. Do you feel uplifted or drained, energized or exhausted? Ask yourself, does this relationship consistently bring out the best in me? Am I growing and thriving or am I constantly feeling belittled and suppressed? Reflecting on these questions can provide clarity and help you understand the true nature of your relationship. Do I feel supported, respected and valued for who I am? A healthy relationship should make you feel cherished and appreciated, not constantly criticized or undervalued. It's essential to recognize the difference between constructive feedback and toxic criticism. If the answer is no, it's time to take a step back and re-evaluate the situation. This might involve taking a temporary break to gain perspective or seeking advice from trusted individuals who can offer an objective viewpoint. It's important to remember that you deserve to be in a relationship that uplifts you, empowers you and brings joy into your life. You have the right to feel happy and secure and to be with someone who respects and values you. Don't be afraid to seek support from trusted friends, family members or a therapist. Opening up about your experiences can provide relief and help you feel less isolated. These individuals can offer a fresh perspective and help you see things more clearly. They can offer valuable perspectives, guidance and encouragement as you navigate this challenging time. Sometimes, just knowing that someone else understands and supports you can make a significant difference in your journey. Section 2. Breaking free and choosing yourself. Breaking free from a toxic relationship can be incredibly difficult, even when you know it's the right thing to do. The emotional ties and shared history can make it hard to let go, but it's crucial to prioritize your mental and emotional health. It requires immense courage, self-awareness, and a commitment to prioritizing your own well-being. Take time to reflect on your needs and desires and remind yourself that you deserve happiness and respect. Start by setting clear boundaries and communicating your needs assertively. This might be challenging at first, especially if you're not used to standing up for yourself, but it's a vital step in reclaiming your power. This might involve limiting contact, expressing your discomfort with certain behaviors, or seeking professional help to facilitate healthy communication. Remember, it's okay to seek help and use resources available to you. Remember, you have the power to choose yourself and create a life filled with love, respect and happiness. Embrace the journey of self-discovery and healing and know that you are worthy of a fulfilling and joyful life. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content on mastering self-discipline and improving your relationships.
Remember, the journey to a better relationship starts with you. See you in the next video.